a melody, a gold melody, a form that is English through every year. And also, I remember, if I'm not wrong, uh, this committee proposed the uh, creation of a chair, Professor O'Neill Bryan Chair Professor. And out of all these proposals, we did now have been able to materialize only two. One is this lecture, and the other is the celebration of the birthday of Professor O'Neill Bryan. So we have a very modest beginning, but this is not the end of the world. We are going to carry uh, this forward in the near future and we will try to materialize other proposals uh, put forward by this committee. And I would like to sincerely thank all the members of this Honil Gai Memorial Committee. Uh, Dr. Buha, uh, Dr. Rai, Dr. Mikta, uh, Professor Patro, uh, and everyone who uh, spent some time giving a serious thought as to how to uh, pay our homage to the man behind the foundation of Vita Shadow University. It was Professor Gaines King, as you all know, to establish a full credit university in this region, one of the most backward regions notified by the government of India and inhabited by the backward people of the country. I would also like to welcome Professor Alan and I would like to express my sincere gratitude for sparing his valuable time with us and agree to deliver the first Ponytime Memorial Day. He is the fittest person uh, to deliver the first lecture because he had some association with Professor Lyon. Professor Lyon was one of his teachers in Ayurveda and he had the real opportunity to see this uh, magnificent man from a close quarter. So thank you very much, Dr. Sahala, for traveling to Ayurveda and kindly giving your consent to take us with us on the time of our I wish I could see some more faces from my distinguished faculty members. The presence of our faculty members unfortunately is a little thin, but I understand that everyone is preoccupied with the upcoming NAC visit. So this is one of the reasons why all the faculty members could not come today. <coughs> And I wish that uh, this lecture will be continued every year uh, with the same amount of enthusiasm. So uh, I don't want to stand between you and the distinguished speaker. We all look forward to listen to him. I shall be listening to him for some time, but my sincere apologies, I may not be able to sit through the whole of your lecture. I will miss some part of your lecture, but uh, please give me the permission. And Professor Alan, as you know, he needs an introduction. He is a very distinguished uh, scholar and academician. Uh, he is a very good personal friend of mine. Uh, and uh, we work together as Vice Chancellors for quite some time. So, Professor Alan, I welcome you uh, to deliver the lecture. And the floor is yours. Thank you very much indeed. People from the Arab states. Many of our famous groups, Dr. Rodriguez, you are to say, you are some reason.
from Sarovi Jara, Dr. Dipak Mehta, my distinguished colleagues, friends and students. Uh, this is really a real danger and occasion for me at least uh, because I joined this university in 1985 and for the first time I came to know about Professor Aulikul Parkayan as the founder of this university uh, from the first vice chancellor of this university, Professor Bhupesh Chandra Mukhopad. He was a historian. Uh, Professor Mukhopadhyay first told me about this uh, man and he then wrote an article which was published in the journal of the University Grants Commission, uh, the Journal of Higher Education. And this is the first document I had seen where Professor Anjitumar Grant's name was printed. It was said that there was a regional education society headed by Professor Gans, a professor of IIT, who actually uh, uh, placed a proposal before a committee of the central government and that ultimately materialized to what is now known as Vita University. That was the first part in my mind. I tried to figure out that who this man was. And after joining this university, I also found surprisingly that the name of Professor Anil Kumar Gayan was not there in any university records. The uh, University Act 1981 passed in Wisdom Assembly. Uh, in its mandate, uh, a lot of things were said of which the major emphasis of this university was given on the development of the uh, regional, uh, regional people, including the tribals, and a lot of different subjects uh, have been proposed, some of them are interdisciplinary. My subject, anthropology, was one of the subjects, among the first six subjects proposed in the Onega and uh, Regional Educational Society proposal. So it was very really surprising for me that why the name of Professor Anil Kumar Gayan was absent in the records of the university. I was not a student of history, but uh, I started searching Anil Gayan's history. It was a very interesting journey. Uh, I found very little documents, but I could talk to many people, and one of those uh, important peoples were Professor Rohin Chana. From him, at least partly I could know that Ani Gayan dedicated at least uh, the last decade of his life towards the formation of the Dashan University. And later, when Professor Topun Pal of Mathematics Department joined this university, I also derived something from Professor Pal. Then, I came across some of the little magazines of the locality and some books. I came across one book written by uh, a school headmaster of Kijuri Block, on Kumar Gayan's birthplace. And there, there is a chapter named Kijuri's Punijan. In that chapter, I found the short biography of Professor Anil Kumar Gayan. That was the second historical document which I came across. By that time, decades have passed. Uh, during the 25th year celebration of the Dashaman University, I proposed to give the University Vice Chancellor to do something for the memory of the founder of our university. Unfortunately, that proposal was not taken up. Um, Vice Chancellor after Vice Chancellor's team in this university gave their convocation addresses and they are all on record. You can check it out. None of them say anything about the founder, founder of this university. Although when we talk about the objectives of the National University, it was Anil Kumar Gang's proposals which have been rehearsed. It, it, it was really strange for me. 
then the turning point that my uh, speech for the turning point came in 2012 on 26 January 2012 at the Bidashar University campus I went there being prepared to talk something on professional level more than but unfortunately time could not be made for me to talk something on time so I got infuriated and I wrote a very strong letter to the present Vice Chancellor, Professor Ramanujan Chakravarti, saying that I could not say anything on 26 January on only one time. I was a for it. By that time, a lot of documents have come into my hand. That letter, which I thought that uh, would uh, raise some suspicion about me in Vice Chancellor's mind, has resulted in just an opposite kind of reaction. Within a week, Professor Ramun Chakravarti wrote a very nice letter to me, appreciating my efforts in resurrecting on a human rights memory. And he proposed that uh, we would give some proposals about how we could do it. I immediately wrote up a proposal, and that was the first proposal which was taken up by the National University Institute Council in right Congress in 2013. And one Kumar Band Memorial Committee was formed. The first members of this committee were the Vice Chancellor, Gideon Register, to whom I also owe a lot. Um, the first committee was formed, the head of the Department of uh, Anthropology, Dr. Koshi Bosch, and head of the Department of Mathematics. Uh, was put into the committee. I was the only uh, non ex official member of that committee. And the, in the meetings of those committees were also very interesting. And, and we used to have a lot of debate on whether Anil Kumar Khan was the founder of this university or not. What were the documents? The documents were the archives the writings of the first vice chancellor, the report of the Learning Committee, the report of the of the Commission, and some weekly magazines published by the local society. So with this, we got ourselves armed and declared that, yes, we should say that Professor Khan was the founder of this university. Our vice chancellor proposed the title that we should not say founder, we should say that the man behind with the Shaman University. And I was given the task of writing the short biography of Professor Dain, which was put on the university's website. So the first thing we could do about Professor Dain was to put, instead of a statue, we thought it would be better to put on the client's name in the cyberspace. And now a lot of different people from all over the world, they know who is the founder of the Shaman University. I also owe a lot to Dr. Koshik Bosch, who is a Cambridge doctorate, who took an initiative for writing to Cambridge to do a lot of Professor Dyan's uh, PhD career novels. What, whatever came about Professor Dyan was really thrilling and surprising. Professor Dyan was a man of mathematics, but he did his PhD under a statistician in Cambridge and within a record period of time. In Cambridge, people usually cannot complete their PhD and coursework not less than five years' time. Dying completed it within three years. And not only that, he had two marvelous publications in a famous journal of statistics and mathematics. And the, the, that journal was published by Oxford University, its name is Biomedica. Full length single authorship papers. Uh, ranging from 30 to 35 pages in Biometrica earned him the honor of the Fellow of the Royal Society of Statistics London. Professor Koshik Bush told me, whose violator you are showing to me. I am a Cambridge doctorate and published a lot, but Cambridge never invited me to become one of its fellows. So within a year of completion of the PhD, I am became the Fellow of the Royal Statistical Society. He was also an Insta Fellow, 
in Friday, five to myself. We see Mohan Rupesh to teach at Indian Statistical Institute, Presidency College, and she put paper in the Indian College, and also at Tata University. But Ryan's mind was deeply rooted in Vietnam. So he had chosen the job of an assistant professorship at Kharagpur IIT. So even in the IIT, it's very difficult for a mathematician or people from other subjects to make a change in IIT's academic intellect. Ryan was very much successful in that. And another fact which came to my mind was Ryan ran a number of research projects chiefly on the educational standards of Vietnamese. So and he was told a two-eyed boy of the then Vice President Jackie Hosea. There are sayings in IIT campus that Ryan could bring a project not by writing to the Home Ministry but by just giving a telephone to the office of the Vice President of India. And he brought in a number of projects by which he studied statistically the educational potential of the Vietnam district. And that has led him to develop the proposal for extensive. Another contribution of Dr. Ryan is not known to the general public. It is the, uh, the objective type of questions at the school living uh, levels in West Bengal. A committee was formed by the West Bengal government to evaluate how many questions could be reset. And it was Ryan Community's proposal which was implemented and after that short objective type of questions were set in mathematical examinations. Ryan also did a lot of pure researches. For example, many of us know that the correlation coefficient developed by Carl Pearson. Ryan was a student of Carl Pearson's school and the Perry Daniels man, a famous contribution in mathematical statistics, was done by Professor Onigai. He also wrote a number of textbooks in mathematics and statistics. And he was a versatile man. And I will end up with a very interesting story of uh, a wonderful marketplace or Aachi marketplace where during those days one could find a person tall and very handsome. His name was Tony Gai. People used to call him Mad Gai, Pagla Gai, because of the fact that he used to raise subscriptions for the building of a university. Subscription of Rupi's name. And Professor Anirumar Jana, he is not present now, he told me that he once gave a subscription of 10 rupees to Professor Gai. He used to go in the marketplaces asking people for giving some money. When the people asked that what for you are collecting money, he said for building up a university. People did not believe in Professor Gai's word. They gave the money but said he is a mad man. This mad man was the founder of this university. So for him for narrating his past and untold micro histories, but every past has a beginning and every beginning has a future. So past and present are interlaced. One cannot separate the past from the present. So Ryan's uh, stories are not past. They also point to a future direction for the present university. And there lies the real ideals of the students. I will end up by thanking Professor S.S. Alam. Yesterday, over phone, I had a very interesting dialogue with him. I didn't know Professor Alam, but when I phoned him, he said that, well, are you uh, Dr. Guru? I said, yes. Because the boss phone was not working at that time, that's why I had to phone Professor Diane with the message. So he said that, uh, I know you. I said, how, how do you do it? He said, because I read you a Frontier article long ago on the forgotten founder of the university. Could you give me some of your memory articles? I immediately emailed him on memory articles. I wrote an article on this little magazine. That article was not prepared. And in that article, I started with the famous uh, 
आर्टिकल ऑफ प्रोपी चंद्र चंद्र रिमेम्बर दैट आर्टिकल ही कलेक्ट दैट आर्टिकल इन दैट आर्टिकल ही वाज अ फुल रिव्यू पब्लिश्ड इन बंगलो दर्शन एंड दैट फुल रिव्यू वाज अ फेमस आर्टिकल बिकॉज ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट इन दैट फुल रिव्यू बोकी चंद्र रिव्यू द बुक ऑफ ए वेरी an insignificant person who first wrote a history on bengal bolki stated that bengalis do not have any history but then he asked the question that is it possible that a nation that the jati doesn't have a history bolki says yes it is possible because histories come when they are written the point is bengalis have not written their histories when the europeans Go for bird hunting. History is written, but when the Bengalis and conquer countries, nobody writes anything about it. So this is the tragedy of history in Bengal. So I would request you to recollect Mohanlal's words. Let us be conscious about our histories. Forgive me. I, this is specifically addressed to my vice chancellor, who is a man of history. I should not say much about the technical things of history before the technical person, but histories are not histories. Histories also relate to our present. Thank you very much. Now we will discover data science with a more clear token now on it. So the kind person of the chair is the uh, moment to listen to another speaker. So may I now request Professor Alam. to be benefited in 
in many ways. Uh, he, other that Professor uh, Anil Kumar Ryan Memorial of the the members of the special, Professor Guhan, Professor Vita, and all other members, those who have been, I would say, so much active about this program, and for those who have thought seriously about commemorating the memory of such a person who dedicated, really dedicated his life, I mean, for the cause of this university. Because I was uh, associated with Professor Guy in 1969. Uh, actually, establishing one university, yes. Had Rajnapur University not been established, say, during those days, it might have been established by now, the way universities are now being established. In the country, the plan is that, say, by 2020, their country plan was, now the nation might be changing, that 1,500 universities we were going to have. So by the time, one university in Rajnapur was not but issue is not that. Issue is this, a man of the soil, that is the, a man born in the soil, that is in Midnapur. In the rural area of Bengal, born in a poverty striking family, not at all seeing the enlightenment of academic so called of Bengal or India at all, and rising up to a level of that as an academician with so much of glory name fame in his own subject or in related areas and striving hard for establishing or doing something for the cause of the people where amongst whom he was born. How many of us really are serious to do something even in our Mahalla Pada where we are born to do something for them? Not many of us. Today, today we are all components of our materialistic world. We are acclimatized by that materialism. We know only ourselves. We are that we do not want to think. You will be remembering how many of the old parents are going to the court to get I mean, to get some kind of subsistence from their words when the words are throwing them out from their parental houses. This is the value of life, this is the value of culture of today's modern world. And Professor Nayan was also born in, in the terms of history, also born in, in the modern world, but he did not forget that, that the heritage of the society heritage of the people amongst whom he was born, brought up and all. Professor Gayet was born in a family in, 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 in I think, Lokhi village, somewhere near Bejuri. And then um, Jivan Krishna Gayet was his father's name. And uh, then Ponchami Devi was his mother's name. They were poor. Unfortunately, Professor Gayet lost his father at very early age. Very hard. Mrs. Gai, he struggled hard to bring the two, two children up somehow or other. I remember one person, you know, but he did not forget his mother or the locality or the people associated with them. I remember in my locality, in, in, in my subdivision, I remember exactly one lady having four children of hers losing her father and her husband at a very young age of the children, how he brought all of them, the lowest qualified person, he was holding one joint secretary post in West Bengal, character speaking, and then others are all academicians of that high stage. But I, if I am not um, saying wrong, then the lady ultimately had to take shelter in a, in a old age home. Professor Nai was a different person. He did not forget, leave alone his mother or sister or his relations. He did not uh, say forget his people, his own people. 
and a part of, you try to do something for the part of the people, a section that is Midnapur, and then you think of greater cause. Vishwabhidala it is Vishayam. So it is when you are growing a university, developing it, it is that fruits are not only eaten by the local people alone, fruits are also exported to various regions even beyond the country. And that is the fruits of academics. Pasha Khan's mission, mission. That must have grown that way during his Kennedy's days. A well dressed, well cultured Pasha Khan, whom I have seen, but I can give one example how softness, how much he had born, that softness was born in his mind during those days when he was head. That time, headship was permanent post. Uh, rotation and headship came, I think. 72, 3, 4, 5, exactly, don't remember, forgive me. And then he said, she went, or said, Devedra Nadmishu, he also a very learned man of the elasticity, who he is from Calcutta. Oh, no, I had to And then he began there. So, where in 69, I remember, I came from a village, and then I put him on a dhoti and a shark, I, I, I came to meet Professor Ryan uh, that I wanted, I want to do research, PhD, uh, if you can, sir, help me. He asked me to sit down and then I sat, then he said, where from you are? Then I told, then he said, that, what does your father do when you are? I said that he last night, uh, he has some land. So he continues, he, he has a big family, he hears it. Out. And then he said that I must do something for you. And then because uh, you are coming from a rural area, and in fact he told me, you see, the great heart indicates greatness of a man. He tells me I must do for you. Why? But from 51 onwards, I have to call it good, has been uh, rendering service to the cause of uh, say education. But I have for the first time I am. One Bengali Muslim boy, Dhoti clad, coming to me requesting for help for doing some PhD, and I, I, I must do something. Your people, they are not that educated. I, I, then and there, my mind submitted to me that this is the man who does not have any barrier of any community, any class, any society, having this tie on his name and the coat on his channel uh, master so continuously he uh, coated, booted, suited, he was uh, mostly he liked it. I have not seen him in uh, half shot like this uh, to uh, we are. So, uh, but in the core of his heart, he should not, he would not forget the softness for the people of the rural India and the backward people who are so educationally backward or forward. You know, that arts, arts for doing something. I, 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 pronoun I did, and then I said, sir, I shall be very thankful to you if you could get it that. But to me, then he suggested for reading something, there will be in that interview and all, you have to perform well in the interview. I said that, I said, try my best, sir. Yes, if you try, what cannot be done? Everything can be done. You read, there, there are at least three months time before the interview there. This is exactly that what we have said. Go home, but next time when you come, don't come in dhoti. Exactly <laughs> that. You, you just, you know, that, that doesn't give a good, uh, your mind I appreciate, but your dress I do not. Fine, I, 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 then, then I interviewed, we were, Selected as he said, so as he joined me. Then he told me, I shall give you a good guide. You know, I am very busy, I am moving around. And uh, Professor Nain, I shall, I shall tell you, it is, a, it is a small period of nine years closely associated with Professor Nain. And then he will say that, he said that, I shall uh, give you a good guide. Then he, two of his students were then in the department. Why two, three of them? Uh, again, four of them, Nagendra was also there. Uh, Professor Ajit Bhattacharya, his first uh, student was Professor Guru Prasanna Bhattacharya. He was a statistician. Uh, he did it in 
And uh, quite a number of times, he attended meetings uh, at IIT guest house and also uh, Dr. Dandopas the seminar. Now, Dr. Dandopas used to publish one magazine that is called Shadin Bharta. That Shadin Bharta used to help us like anything, also I help us means that uh, like anything. Whatever to be shared and written by Dr. Dandopas Shadin Bharta, that uh, one reporter was there. He was the lone person doing everything. It was a weekly Potrika, a news magazine or like that, and mostly popular in this local region. But you know, this, even with the small magazines or reports, that can help to a great extent in the sense when you print it in a local media, in a local paper, then copy of that you can send it to different persons of different ministers, the government level, central government, the UTC level, and all. That was a, that was a tool that was used by the Indian Education Association. Then later I found that it was further enlarged from the input by a number of people. I remember Shoyal Samsul Bari, a half namesake of mine, and then Shoyal Samsul, and then Bari is the difference. So, Shreya Samshul Bari again a subject of the same subject. He was a mathematician. And he was three times MLA, Congress MLA from Mindanao, and he was principal of Mindanao College. A thorough gentleman, a Dhoti Punjabi class gentleman, and a, a, a nice looking personality. And uh, many people they get, they used to get pleased with him. You know that busy charm and personality had he not been having, how three times he could succeed in election. So that also one factor. And he was heading the college for a number of years. So Samsul was he associated, he became general secretary of Hosha Gayan was president or something. And then uh, one uh, Kumaresh Kumaresh Bosch. He was reporter of Anandavada Patrika. Slowly from Shadin Bhartha, we got some platform at Anandar Bazar as well because Umanis Babu really he loved this idea that there should be some university and why not in Midnapur, a very rural part of Bengal. That was the, that was the spirit Umanis Babu used to release many uh, writers in the uh, Anandar Bazar. Professor Pahari, Sudan Professor Pahari, he was also a very proactive man in this association. Professor Pahari, I don't know if he is today. Is he alive? No. Alive? Oh, nice. His contribution also was like this. Every meeting they used to attend, there are many. Another person from Mandra, Professor Durga.
important in the locality itself. Because today's university, in modern definition, it has got three aims. One, quality education. Two, quality research. And three, doing something for the cause of the community to which belong. Contribution to the society to which you belong. Every university of today, even the Mohammed and Modena of higher education, that is Harvard and MIT, today they are also doing something for their people. My own grandchild, he is also getting benefit from those institutes because he is a student of Boston, a class nine student or class student. Still, they are being, uh, say, uh, I will say, taken for training them in mathematics, physics, fundamentals. Doing something for the local people. Doing something for the local children. Professor Dyer, this vision, something local, that is, is maybe it describes his mind that third component of higher education or education in general, it is no less an important component of education itself, but it is rather more important. Today you understand that's why that he told, I mean, might be, I don't know what was in, in his mind, but he insisted on that this university should be non-traditional university. I mean, traditional. This university should be non-traditional university, unlike other traditional universities like the Sata Bardhaman, I mean, Bardhaman, yes, that time, 60, early 60, if you are established. So, this is, what is non-traditional? That is non-traditional here, this is, you understand, that hardly 15% or 16% of them, the students, they go for higher education. How much? 15, 16, 17, how much is that gross enrollment ratio we are now? 17 at the most? So this is in higher education. Rest of the students, why do they go? They do not really find any avenue for, for skilling them, for training them, for, so that they can do something for their own work uh, for, for, for establish themselves, establishing themselves in the society. So that non-traditional type of things, if we do, he might have thought like this, that if we can do, then many things can be solved at a time. One, basic education is important on the population. Then some of the people who do not have that much of capability entering to the arena of higher education may be skilled in some different non-traditional areas and where through that they can establish themselves or all their livelihoods so that there is no frustration on their part of their lives that does not lead to destruction. Destruction of individuals, destruction of the society. Today we find that proper education, proper treatment of our youths, that is really that has become a problem. And that problem remains one of the problems at the root of the so called many hazards, disturbances in the social uh, environment of our society. Locally, country wise, state wise, even globally. Uh, I think uh, how much time I have taken? I don't know. So this is no, sir. This is uh, particularly the young friends. They have not uh, many other. Anyway, uh, I think I have taken 15 minutes. I have taken another 15 minutes. Yeah. Professor Gaines. That mission, I know, then 78, that time, 76, I joined faculty. I, 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 you see that, uh, that was my own, I would say, uh, uh, he contributed to my own life that way by giving me an opportunity uh, in the Department to pursue my PhD. And then, uh, I, I, as a young, man of a Muslim, Bengali Muslim family of West Bengal, where the marriage age is a little bit hard. So I got one teaching assistant in a university and then I thought of going there. 
because it is something. Still, still other day, the US degree definitely still it is there that it has got certain. So I, I thought of like this, but my father was not that much of a similar opinion. He said that who will help me in farming if you remain here and do some school teacher and all that, that will also help. And if you can do that, you can help me also partly in my. Uh, so, but then, you know, I have to interpret the mission. Then, I, I, then my grandmother insisted on that, yes, if at all you have to go, your father does not agree, but then if at all you have to go, then you have to uh, go after marriage. But maybe they are doubting this, that uh, they, they may, I do not come back or I may get married there itself. I yours may lead everybody to any direction, there is no such uh, controlled uh, path. So anyway, she was also old lady, was right or wrong, anyway, I got married. But I thought of another thing also. Again, forgive me. So then, I, but my grandmother told my father-in-law, Forgive me if she has done anything. Then she said that uh, if she, he has to go, then don't give any ornaments to his wife, the bride. Whatever ornaments you have to give, you give uh, in money, and then that uh, later we shall make the ornaments. But immediately, if the ticket is to be purchased, I know his father does not have money, so this may be used. But Dana, those things actually neither that money was uh, utilized for that uh, foreign education or anything. Then I, my neither nor my wife really was enthusiastic about it. She said that insisted after marrying why I have to be left alone. And all these things. That's why I came to Constantine. I told him also. Said this is. So, um, we will do. Then, I got two jobs. I, 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 my daughter was born, and then he said that uh, you need a job, but what to do? That, uh, let us see. Then, uh, I applied to Public Service Commission on that she one advertisement on the same page. That both the jobs uh, I got through Public Service Commission, but they are not that good. Lecture X scale was research officer. Riva Research Institute, another in animal husbandry, and they are in the world. Professor Kain, I told him, sir, these jobs, something, some straws in my hand so that I can maintain my own in family. Then he said that, are you keep on the other animal husbandry or to produce a lot of other animal energy? To me, then I was under him directly, as she said, was not to run the road, and then not much doing research, but doing something more regarding these peripheral things. Whatever research I used to do, I used to do with my own life. <laughs> then, uh, of course, I did not go, I did not join. Anyway, ultimately, I got entry to IIT faculty. Yes. Then, that was, you see, then, to me, what can I say, keep going? That, you know, this is the love for a student. I still, I will never forget those words. Had I gone there, my life would have been different. And I went to, for three weeks, I went to Madras. Then he said that, go, but tomorrow, I don't know if I have to say, Varad Shari, Exactly the same thing happened. After three weeks, I left the job. Then it is Anna Engineering University. That time it was in the engineering college. I left after three weeks and came back. Then professor guy tore off the paper to, in which I had applied for leave. And the leave for this resignation, not leave, resignation. Then he said that I am tearing it off. Then you write for another application for three weeks leave. Then three weeks something, some leave, then he sent it to the directive to the registrar and then uh, this. It is, a, it is a it is a fatherly affection. My father was class nine. A man, what I by directing these my own experience, what I mean is this: for every individual teacher of ours, how many of us really we can think of 
for all the students for their retirement, for their welfare, for their future life and all. How much? How much do we really spend on close association between the teacher and the doctor? That I am. I am an example. But I work from professional life. I am indebted, ever indebted. He is no more here. If I uh, do not remember him even, nobody is going to, to tell me anything. But if I do not do it, that will be an indulgence on my part. That forgetting a man's contribution to an individual's life. Like he, many who got help from him. His own family. I remember two persons he brought from, brought from the jury. One, Omiyo Kumar Jana. Omiyo Kumar Jana and Shubhrata Giri. Shubhrata Giri was his own sister's son. Nephew. Shubhrata Giri, Omiyo Jana, both of them were brought and they were fully engaged in this university affairs. We were there doing PhD work or doing this work and then assisting him taking class and then helping him. Shubhrata and Omiyo, they were uh, Janata. They were total, fully engaged. Then, Professor Gaya, some of them managed some jobs for both of them in rural development and in a project in the architecture and planning department and Professor Aryan Chakrabarta. I remember he somehow managed to accommodate them in his own project. And then both of them they got a freshman in the office. Also, I don't think he has retired yet. Maybe it is the tag end of his service period. Janata has already retired, and these are they are they are hard to relate In his in family in his house that fire A eleven that was that water in near Primbas. Uh, Portola. That, that is a landmark house for Sir Gaya's house. That time he was very popular amongst the faculty students and so on. His personality was, uh, uh, was also like that. He began and then always like this. He will not come out of his house without proper dress and all. He used to believe in that. It is a good training that yes, dress is also one important thing. Any <laughs> dress. And the show was dress and official dress. And fine. They are he used to bring his villagers to this and in say house for household work. And I go, I, I just once mentioned that some fathers, one was Vishnu Padu, one was Shakti Padu, one was the sons, all of them. So this is they were associated. He inherited, actually he married Krishna. One, 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 one. one. Panchana uh, uh, Chonda, Krishna Chonda was his daughter. Panchana Chonda, he was from uh, Udoy Narampur area, however. Panchana Chonda, Chonda was a very rich man. I heard, I am not sure about it, he had shipping business. In, so he had a lot of money. Actually, he had four buildings also. And Panchana Chonda had three daughters. Krishna Chonda was his eldest daughter, other two daughters are also there. And Krishna Chonda was married to Professor Gain. That was in 1946. Krishna Chonda was married to Professor Gain. And then after uh, say immediately after independence, India received, that is 20th August, uh, Professor Gain uh, was on a voyage to London for academics. That, I can say, India got freedom, Professor Ryan also um, got some kind of academic and cultural freedom. He was close within the constraints of financial uh, constraints, I can mean, say, uh, submit a major surprise. Because you can understand one thing, the man who admitted who got admission in applied mathematics Calcutta after honors, then the man, you know, he had to leave for oh, at least two years. He came back to his village. He could not complete uh, his uh, master's in applied mathematics. Then he did some other job in, uh, in school in, in, in some area, high school somewhere. And 
and then other uh, area. Then to just to all the livelihood of his and his mother and other sister. That was his life. Then uh, during his honors days, honors he did from Limon College and now it is Surendran College. Then this Surendran College, Ripon College, he did his honors and then while doing honors, he was assisted by a Krishna uh, mission, by a Krishna mission uh, that the students that uh, home, that is for poor students, he was given accommodation there, they used to maintain. Many of his friends, they used also to have. But when he was married to Krishna Chonda, then Krishna died, and then uh, he, they said, uh, Mr. Chonda did not have any chance, so he also got a uh, good share of wealth. He got two buildings in uh, Calcutta, his other two, uh, his wife's sisters, four sisters, that was a nice, uh, they got one each. And in one of the buildings too, what he got, was a nice, that he used to run one uh, press. That press also, this Vidyar Sangha University, that also is part that was in paper, that was through that press itself. Because he used to fully utilize his press for printing all such things. Janaka used to help draft and all, and uh, Shubhrata used to tie these things and all, and then the place there, one Vishnu Bhadar, Shokhi Bhadar, Bhubarbar was there, I can be doing all this. The place used to do a lot of business there. His Mrs. Gayan, he did not find much time to be with Professor Gayan at Parukhur during his uh, service period. Earlier days he used to come up a bit more often, but later days uh, she very rarely she used to come because she has to look after the place, she has to look after the children. But you know many great people did not have that all fine things in their lives. I tell you when people say that some virtuous people, when I say the morals to children, young, then can you have it? Eight adults of the Dharma, or the virtue, and some for a key or two or chicky. What do you wish on the bad position of the world? It took again to watch a new or bad to hear the children. I said to check it, jump out of the door, okay. So, you know, at the shop, I should have to keep that. They don't do well. But, you know, that Jesus Christ, the suffering that Jesus Christ has had in his life, that was more than important, even more than important. But you see, God might have given him that whose name, never from the world, it will be erased, it will be forgotten. Great people, their names remain. In materialistic terms, they do not really cherish much, but they cherish this, they enjoy this, even after they for century and century. Professor Guy did not have that good and that life. He had three children, uh, two of them daughters, one a son. That uh, one daughter, the eldest one, was Baporna. Some of she was a student of mine also. That for uh, home, she used, he used to work. Aparna was a very good student, not that, that outstanding, but still a good student. Aparna did a MSc from our department, a from good mathematics. Then after that, he was doing, she was doing PhD in Aisha Yoga. Uh, after death of in 78, Professor Gaya died after death of that. So, Professor Gaya, Aparna joined Aisha Kolkata. All of a sudden, Aparna had severe fever within four days, Aparna expired. That is a tragic thing happened to Professor Gaya's own family. Then, Krishna, Mrs. Uh, Gaya, that is Krishna Gaya, was disturbed. And then, Loki, his younger sister, daughter, Loki, Loki was a bit suffering, she had a bit problem. Uh, not fully mature, but then obesity was also another problem. Loki, at a very, very young age, Loki also expired. 
Then we have to Arjun. Arjun died. He is on this mountain. Arjun died. Uh, he had a very good friend at that person who was there. Uh, after coming from Cambridge, uh, they actually Professor Gayal was invited, rather was called by Professor Mahanamati, who himself was a great statistician. Though basically he was a physicist, but then he invited, you have to teach here at that time. Then he said that, then you know, Professor Gayal told me once, you know, those days, how the scales were there. There was no such thing. When I first met Professor Mahanamati, he asked me, to me what to name it? Just like you can think of three quarter minutes. It is a teacher selection and then teachers are found. Then I remember the Professor Mahanadish was also not the only one. Professor Mahanadish was a, I mean, a statistician. And then Ashutas Mukhopadha. I have read about him. Ashutas Mukhopadha for his own university of Calcutta. He found a boy very brilliant. Just fresh from university. But he has so much of talent. He visited his home just to catch him in, or rather wrote him in for university academics. That was today I tell my colleagues that tomorrow the time will come where you will not get faculty by advertisement. Because number of prospective teachers, candidates for being teachers, that is so less. That's why more or less 30% of the university course, inclusive of colleges and all, they are lying back in the country. So this is what it will happen. Those days also it happened. You have to run after the good faculty to catch hold of them for better academics in the university. Because entire is a Vishal Jogo, entirely a Jogo in result into good academics. But still, if we do not get quality teaching, quality research, then our students, where they are going, then ultimately university will not be there to have a position for university research. Professor Gaines, Arjun Gaines, he became his son, he, he, he did from Mesra, Mesra, he builds Mesra, Ranchi. Uh, he did his meeting. What I told that Professor Gaines was for a while, he was in Aishan Kolkata faculty uh, and then part time teaching in Presidency University. That is how he knew new Professor P.K. Bose. Kolkata University did not want to relinquish his part of his empire to Pita Shabar and even to Varman Bose. Kolkata, as I said, it has an empire from Varman. The big empire who does not enjoy that, that empire. Kolkata, Professor Bosch, many a time, Professor, Professor Nain, uh, Professor, uh, he used to meet Professor Bosch that time, go by the center of Kolkata University, and convince him how important. Professor Bosch was one, one, one big figure in the world, go by the center of Kolkata, but his share was very important. Then, I know to please Professor Bosch, it is off the track, but still, Professor, to please him, sir, we cool, kekul cool, shikkale, aan bhati kore, ana haani, we kekul cool, niye gare. Professor Bosch, sir, aapna chunne, aapna deshe, aapna kekul cool. So that only the college group, the group of Vishnu Vidya Lai, Vidya Shaka Jaskia, which is a college group of Kolkata, has to relinquish. And then Professor Kolkata was not ready to do so. They were objecting to that idea. Now that then Professor was, that is a good, I will say, Professor would like to eat. So Ketur Kul Kushundar, then one day he phones Professor Kaima. He says that, only don't get your good cup of Balaji. To be a right of another part, so the room to be put in another put in. They will our right to be a good cup. So, person, Peter was, he is a good man, he's a big heart, just like his figure. 
that's in our mind, a statistician, they will put it. And then somehow, this way he approached many people, the way they will be pleased. And for that the help will come to us, the establishment of this university. And Professor, ultimately it was done. And then Professor finds who is able to do, to serve the community to which he belonged, he was born and he belonged. And that was the desire. I essentially I mention again that in a today's university concept that is exactly the same thing what those days Professor Brian also used to think of hard upon and that 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 is what was perhaps one of the major elements in his mind for making a movement, just like Shakespeare, uh, that illegal movement. Professor Naim, not that bigger way, a miniature is that Vidnapur Vishwavidala movement. It, he did not see the Vishwavidala. That's why I was saying many people may not like it also, that founding and all. That he did not see Vishwavidala established during his days. He really, he, he, it was one kind of committing that life itself. He, he was acute asthma, asthma. He used to, frequently he used to inhale that uh, some kind of uh, mighty what, uh, the drugs, uh, steroid might be or what, what usually the uh, pharmacologists they will eat. Uh, but, you know, with that, under the conditions, health conditions, severe uh, asthma, and he will also find some other problems. And then he would walk up to 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. And at 11 30, he used to call us many a time, ask him, what was she denying? Or to ask her for people. Means another one of the So this is how Professor died. And uh, 78 February, 7th February, I remember those days, those 7th February, I was in Pune, a small lecturer. To so that time, we have got four cadets, lecturer, assistant professor, assistant professor, and all. So, lecturer Puna, I want to present a paper. And uh, I was there, but somebody informed me um, that professor uh, died. What to do? I could not see him. And he said, face, even though life was not there, still, uh, the man to whom many of us are indebted, I personally am indebted, and so much his memory I do cherish that I cannot forget ever, rather never, ever in my life I can forget his memories. And people of Midnapur must also not forget him. The reason they laugh for Midnapur people, laugh for him. Rural member that what led to establishment of this university. The result of that today we are enjoying, we are cherishing. But the efforts behind that, the soul which departed because of this, essentially he has he taken proper care. Life is, of course, given or taken away by God. Those who are believers in God, we also do believe. But still, taking care of the maintenance of our, we statisticians, we believe that this is one way of extending life. One last thing, one minute, I just He became famous, you know, he went in Cambridge, he was associated with his life, he said that, uh, that uh, Daniels, Professor Daniels, who was that time president of uh, Royal Statistical Society. You may be remember some those who are associated with statistics, some are difficult of them. There are two father-like figures in statistics since from the part of that is Carl Pearson and Ari Fisher. Fisher used to Fisher happens to be the founder of this uh, Royal Statistical Society, and Carl Pearson is the founder of Ionetic Society. Now Fisher actually uh, had one problem, very important problem solved, what solved, that is test for correlation distribution. To do so, a sampling distribution of correlation coefficient. What he said, that
that mm, sampling distribution of correlation coefficient in non case where population correlation coefficient is zero, it is the student's t distribution. Student's t distribution shows in non case when population correlation coefficient can be assumed to be zero, then in non case student's t test can be performed for testing if two populations they are independent or not. In other words, whether roads between the two populations, that is the correlation coefficient between the two populations, that is zero or not. Students T under null case could be performed. So student or the ocean did this distribution. Fisher thought that if it is not the null case, then if it is the non-null case, if rho is not equal to zero, anything other than zero, then then what happens? Then you cannot perform, you don't have any distribution, you cannot perform any test regarding the row. Then we just gave a transformation of sample correlation coefficient to is what is called that J. We shall J transform. It is a very renowned statistic formula in statistical inference. We shall J transformation. What is a Z transformation Z? That Z equal to half log 1 plus R, sample correlation coefficient, small r, by 1 minus R. That will follow asymptotically a normal distribution with mean approximately half log 1 plus rho population correlation coefficient and by 1 minus rho. This is. And then variance, something he gave. Professor Dan studied the same problem and he found everything is excellent, fine, but this variance, what Fisher has found, it is wrong. It is erroneous. Kendall Stewart's volume 2, that anybody or Kendall's volume 2 or Kendall's volume is Stewart's, it is, a, it is one kind of Mahabharata in statistics, very classic book, textbook, and they are Quite a few things have been written about this professor. Now, this contribution. It was really very important. Cambridge Fellow of Cambridge, Uttarajavika Society, if one had to become, then a mistake, an error to be found and corrected and implemented of the, of the work of a man like R.A. Fisher, it is not a joke. That some weird there on their minds. So, so Professor Ryan said approximately he found the variance it is one upon n by three. By n is the sample size using which is used for computing that correlation condition. That was one component I just mentioned, which is mentioned in many textbooks and particularly the classic textbooks like that Kendall and Stuart. And, and other you know, person who has shared that many of us he has done and all his main area of statistical inference. Most of it he had, uh, you have written, I think, 12 students or somebody he has written 12 students, but I still add one if we have completed. Then you go on. Then you go on. Last student, he was working under that, uh, that uh, in, in economics. And this econometrics, Professor Ryan was not a subject. And here I again underscore one thing. When uh, PhD was not completed before his death, but later he completed with the help of uh, Professor Ryan or Babu or somebody else. He shifted to, he was in that project in ship building. So in fact, 13 students worked under him. And today, what I feel that somebody has very rightly said, forgive me, we are all colleagues. Somebody has said, people in the whole world of academics, they are thinking diversification of knowledge. That is interdisciplinary knowledge, or you may call it multidisciplinary knowledge. You, if you do not extend yourselves beyond the boundary of your small area of work, then you cannot really increase the breadth of the subject. You cannot really go into the depth even and 
you cannot do claim to be a, 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 a structure to be of today's age. It's a very important thing. You see biology in statistics. Biology. Once upon a time, biological science students, they, 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 they did not bother to touch. Even history students, ancient history and archaeology, they did mathematics for at least one of the T square or T square for classification of groups. No subject is there which today can claim that we do not take any help of any other subject. This is such is the stature of today's eyes. One gentleman, right? Yes, sir. That, um, okay. when, when we we are born in research, that is, we, when we started doing PhD, we took up the subject. When we died in research, that is, when we retired from the institute, we also remain in the same area. That is not today, at least in my individual opinion, and many of them are writing, today it is not the today's thing. Also, my diversification of the basically he is a knowledge mathematician. He diverted to statistics. He diverted to education statistics, he diverted to psychometry, he diverted to econometrics, and then what not? An example in those days of interdisciplinary work, so far, or in general, multidisciplinary work, we had to learn many things, not only this contribution of these uh, two establishment as the man behind the foundation of a great institution like Vidyasagar University. And Vidyasagar was born that time in my district, Bukli. That after that it came to Vishinga, came to Nirnapur in latter days. So uh, we used to call three stars in my own subdivision, Aramba, that Raja Ramon Rai, Pandeji Dasarga, Vishwachandra Vidyasagar, and Ramkrishna Paramahamsa on the three vertices of a triangle. Such great people. Vidyasagar, I am glad that with the Pandeji Vishwachandra Vidyasagar, whole globe is synchronizing. This single even since Aramba subdivision or Matar subdivision does not matter, matter at all. Globe is synchronizing. People of one corner of the globe rubbing shoulders with people of other corners of the globe. And we are very glad that university was also dedicated to a great requirement and education is like only Isha Chandra Vita Shara. It happens to be like this that from the district of the Vidyasagar, he actually that uh, metropolitan institution, you know, today is uh, that uh, Bongabashi College, uh, metropolitan institution. That time, uh, who established metropolitan institution on the district of the Vidyasagar? And when it was renamed, that's why it was renamed after from the district of the Vidyasagar, Vidyasagar College. You know, a great student of that metropolitan institution, a many of us might be knowing, Acharya Bhagavad Chandra Rai. Professor Dhyan was a student of arts, Acharya Bhagavad Chandra Rai, Rai was a big chemist, a scientist from those days, the pride for the knowledge particularly of Indians, and then he was also a student of arts. F.A. First arts, he was intermediate in arts. Then he, of course, he was allowed to take Presidency and presidency, chemistry as a subject. You see today we talk, we are talking about interdisciplinary teaching, learning, research and all. How those days, today, even today, we do not allow arts students to take a physics course. We do not allow a science students to take a PG course. Why? Such great scientists, if they could do it, they arts students taking mathematics, they arts students taking chemistry. Why today we divide students? students to have mathematics as a subject. They do not understand how much close relationship mathematics and philosophy they have at the root, at the base. So Vidyasaka was a student, uh, the, the, the step founder of that metropolitan institution where Kokuro Chandra student, you understand. FA arts and arts. Vidyasaka established founder of Vidyasagar College and then Vidyasagar University <coughs> is named after Pandit Vishwachandra Vidyasagar. 
All great people, they are perhaps characters, they are things, they are the aims, objectives, missions, missions, perhaps there is a, there is a small road set of relationship between them, a, a characters who are interrelated between them. They are ideas to all of us. I do not say that my young party academicians of this university, my beloved students, do something for you. Do not forget your alma mater. Do not, do not forget your Mohalba. Do not forget your own people from where you have come out. Do something to them. Respect the values of life, the society, the community. They always do such great people who have done so much and dedicated their lives for the cause. I have taken so much of time and you know, teacher is a Teaching is a profession, but teacher is such a person that who starts, it is just like uh, the way that God uh, started, uh, founded the universe. When God started the universe, you know, he, it is just like the one clock. He founded, he, he built one, made one screen, put it in, he wound it up, and the universe goes on and goes on. Just like a teacher, if you give him the opportunity, he goes on. So I, I, I beg your forgiveness that this teacher Shikha may walk up for a little bit of pressure. I mean, they could walk up for a little bit of 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 a little The way the great people they did, and they are your ideas. Do not forget them. Do not be too much of materialistic. Be this social, cultural, valued also in your own life. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wishing you all the best. Thank you, Mr. Now, may I please tell my honorable in your sights to present our memento in memory of Dr. Amin Kumar Gai, on behalf of the
आमिर को आज आया इस तस्वीर के लिए पांच पांच इस तरह का पूरा है जैसे मैंने आया था आलम भी जब तेरे स्पीकर जो आज इस तरह से नहीं हुआ तेरी इंसान से है उस तरह के लिए पांच से है कोई भी जीव ऐसे रिस्पेक्ट विज़न वाले रैंकिंग एंड पुट अ नेम और डेटेबलेस कंफ्यूशन में करिए कोई एक्सप्रेस और सिंसेर रेटुल नेस्ट प्रोसेस पर इस तरह से लाल वो रेडी ऐसे डेटा और इंपैक्ट इस तरह के लिए और तब पास करके तब वही तो हमारा आयन हो गया देख सकें थैंक यू सर बहुत सारे थैंक यू तो आज इन ऑफ साइंस एंड लिस्टिंग इंस्टीट्यूट्स � and our scholars and students for being here and making, day, making this day memorable. Thank you once again all of you.